Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been manager of Manchester United for five games and he's got five wins. Today, again, 2-0 against Reading. It wasn't the best performance you're ever going to see from Manchester United, but it was a much-changed team. And overall, it's a game that you're going to be happy with. It's another clean sheet, although technically I think Reading probably played better than us over the 90 minutes, but Manchester United, another two goals, another win, and the Solskjaer honeymoon period continues. Five wins out of five at the start, and you can't do anything but smile at what you're seeing, especially when you see Heath Chong come on to make his debut. We'll talk about that later. But the game itself, that first half, I felt Reading probably deserved the lead more than Manchester United did, but a VAR decision, one matter, he scored the penalty, excellent penalty, and it was a right call, obviously. And that gave Manchester United the goal that maybe we could have deserved, but I don't think we I personally think Reading over the 90 minutes played better than Manchester United today. And it was definitely because of a much changed team. I think all of our momentum must have come from that midfield of Popper and Herrera and Matic in the last few games because today we had Fred, we had Pereira and we had McTominay. This was an opportunity for all three of those players to show Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that they should be on the edge of the first team and challenging Popper and Herrera and Matic for their places in midfield. And I don't really think any of them took that opportunity, especially Fred. I'm a, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit worried about Fred now after seeing that performance there. You know, he has struggled and he's been good in some games. He's drifted in others. He's been in and out of the team. Obviously, so you can't expect too much from him. But you would expect him to be very controlled up against the Reading team who are struggling in the championship. But he wasn't. His passing range was strange. His control of the ball was poor in the midfield. Pereira was poor as a defensive midfielder. I think Scott McTominay was Scott McTominay. I don't think he played that bad. But it's Scott McTominay, a very limited footballer. So you're not going to see too much from that midfield. And that's where Reading were given their opportunities. And it's where they took them. You know, Reading controlled the midfield for the majority of the game. And that's got to worry, I think, Solskjaer a little bit. But let's try not to focus on the negatives. Let's focus on the positives. And obviously, Lukaku scored again. He was getting pelters from United fans in that first half for what was quite a poor performance. But then he cropped up with a goal just before half time. Probably the best bit of football that United played in that match. And the assist from Alexis Sanchez. You know, Sanchez there got an assist against Newcastle for Rashford's goal right at the end. And he got an assist for Lukaku there as well. Two assists overshadowed by the fact that he had to go off with what looks like a recurrence of his hamstring injury. I really hope that's not the case because I genuinely think that a front three of Sanchez, Martial and Rashford is United's best front three under Solskjaer. Movement, intuitive footballers, excellent, intelligent footballers. And Lukaku's just not that footballer. He's going to score goals. He's going to score plenty of goals. He's scored three goals for Man United now. Two off the bench for Solskjaer. And he started today and scored again. But Lukaku is a different type of footballer to this system that we're playing now under Solskjaer. And I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he was sold in the summer. But for me, obviously, the main talking point today has got to be Tahir Chong. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, not only giving to Hee Chong his debut, but bringing him on for 30 whole minutes at the end of that game. Chong was our Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year last year. A fantastic young footballer that we brought in has been excelling through the academy. And Solskjaer continued the tradition today, had Garner and Chong on the bench and brought Chong on for a full 30 minutes. And he was excited. The Old Trafford crowd was excited. And that's what these games are for. The FA Cup is where you should see Manchester United rotating the team you should see young players coming through and getting opportunities. And that wasn't the Mourinho way. Mourinho was all about playing his strongest eleven because he knew that winning cups were giving grace as a manager. He basically built his career on that. But today we saw a much changed team. Sanchez starting, Lukaku starting, Fred, McTominay, Pereira starting, Damian starting as centre-back, Romero starting, Dalot starting. A whole raft of changes. United ultimately came out 2-0 winners, as we should do against a struggling Reading team. But that's what Solskjaer is going to do. And that's what Fergie did so well, because he had, Fergie had a team of world-class players. Now, United don't have that at the moment. But what Fergie was able to do was keep that whole squad happy by giving everybody minutes in games. Now, today, Solskjaer has played lots of players, given them all starts and brought them back into the fold of the first team. That's going to make them all happy. You can see just the happiness is in and around the squad. It's five wins out of five now. And the real test is going to come next week against Spurs away at Wembley. Last year, we conceded after, what, two seconds? And that was a terrible game. One of the worst away ends I've ever been in. 
But next week is going to be a real test. Now, a lot of you slated me for saying that Newcastle was a major test for Solskjaer, but that was a major test for Solskjaer because it was up against a resolute and strong and organised defence of Rafa Benitez's Newcastle, and we were nil-nil, and it looked like we couldn't break them down. We made the subs that changed the game, and we won that match. That was a big test, tactically, for Solskjaer. Next week is the major, major test in terms of player quality and the quality of the opposition. How are United going to set up there? Let's find out next week. But today, five wins from five. Two clean sheets in a row. Albeit, I think Reading deserved to score today. Romero made a couple of clean saves. And if Reading's finishing was better, they certainly would have scored. But Tahir Chong made his debut. Sanchez got another assist. Worried about that injury. Mata, lovely penalty. Lukaku got on the score sheet as well. I think the midfield was our biggest problem today with Fred Pereira and Matomane. I don't think any of them played well at all. And that gave Reading the ability to control that midfield. But another win. Five wins from five for Solskjaer. Now, he can't stop winning. The good feeling is back at United. But let's see what happens next week at Spurs. If we can continue this form going into that, it's going to be an exciting game. And certainly will be after Spurs spanked Tranmere 7-0 in their FA Cup game. But let me know what you think of the game today. Who was your man of the match? Are there any positives and negatives you want to talk about? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.